going to introduce the man of this man of the hour. Amen. Glory to God. Y'all may know him, and some of y'all may not know him, but he is the most of my life. The man that God has chosen and picked for me. And I know he's an awesome man of God that he will preach the word. He is passionate about preaching the word. And everything that he has asked God to do for him, I watch and see how God just build him and mold him Amen. to the man that he is today. Amen. 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 And I know that he's going to give us a good word from the Lord. Amen. Amen. So I give y'all my husband, an awesome man of God, who not only just preach the word, but live the word. Amen. Glory to God. He built his own church, amen, with the power of the Lord, our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. Team yes. Jesus Promised Land Ministry in Bennettsville, South Carolina. Yes. So I give y'all my husband, the love of my life, Pastor Reverend Edwin Covington. Yes. wife for that introduction. She did it so well. But all glory be to God, y'all. All glory be to God. No matter what state of mind you in, don't never let nothing stop y'all from giving God the glory. Amen. Amen. First, I want to give my condolences to the family. Maurice, Kashila, Mama Diane, PT, Jasper, I don't know here for y'all. I love y'all. There's no words that I can give y'all. But there's no words that nobody can change the way that y'all feeling right now. Amen. 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 But y'all got to know that we love it. And we here for it. If you need us, call on us. And I promise you I'll be there. Amen. Amen. But I just want to give to y'all what God has given me to give to y'all. Can I do that? Amen. Yes. Somebody say preach. Before I begin, I want to recall a, a, a memory of Ali, if I can, y'all. Y'all know how Ali was. Amen. Ali is Ali. <laughs> and we love him because he's Ali. Yeah. But if I can recall a memory, I remember when Ali used to come around me, he used to say, he used to say, El, El. <laughs> he say, I'm the deeper, I'm the deeper. I'm the deeper. <laughs> Whatever the deeper was. <laughs> Ali was the deeper. Amen. Yeah. Ali, sometimes you had to listen to Ali real close because he spoke in his own language. Amen. You had to really listen to Ali to understand Ali. But if you really listen to Ali, he's going to say something real. Amen. So even though Ali is laying the rest on the day, I believe Ali is speaking loud and real to us today. And if I could tell y'all what Ali is, is telling us right now, I believe Ali is telling everybody to get right. Yeah. Everybody say get right. get right. Ali is telling us to get our life right with the Lord. Amen. Because right, right, right. none of us don't know when our time is going to come. Right. Look how death been around us, y'all. Yeah. Death is everywhere we go. Yeah. Every time you scroll on social media, somebody dies. Yeah. Rest in peace. Right. Nobody knows when their time is. None of us know when God going to call us. But the thing that we need to be doing is getting ready. Somebody say getting ready. We got to get ready, y'all. Because all of us got to make that transition that Ali made, amen? But will we be ready when we make that transition, amen? So look at this moment. And look how we all gather here. And don't take it light. You better take it to heart, take it real. Because ain't no telling which one of us is next. We all got to go, amen? Who going to be next? But are we going to be ready when the Lord calls on us, amen? Are we going to be ready? I don't know about y'all, but I'm trying to get ready. I'm trying to prepare myself for the Lord. Because I want to enter into his kingdom, amen? So that's what, we're, that's what we need to be doing, y'all, getting ready, amen? So I'm going to give to y'all what God has given me to give to y'all. And I'm going to come from the book of Isaiah. For those of you that have your Bible. I want y'all to turn to the book of 
Bible, Isaiah with me, chapter 55. And if you don't have your Bible, I want you to listen to me. Amen? Amen. Listen real good. Because right. the Word of God will change your life yeah. if you let it into your heart. Yeah. If you let it, into, it, let it into your mind. Yes. Ask me how I know. Look at me. He did it for me, didn't he? Yeah. He going to do it for somebody else too. Amen? Yeah. In the book of Isaiah, the Word of the Lord says this, y'all. He says, come, everyone who is thirsty, come to the water. And you without silver, come buy and eat. And come and buy wine and milk without silver, without cost. Somebody say without cost. Without cost. The word of God says, why do you spend silver on what is not food? And your wages on what does not satisfy? He said, listen carefully to me and eat. What is good? Yes. Somebody say, eat what is good. good. Y'all better eat what is good, amen? amen? And you will enjoy the choice of your food. How many of y'all want to enjoy the choice of your food? Amen? amen. I don't know about y'all, but I like to enjoy my food, amen? amen? Pay attention and come to me. Somebody say, pay attention. Pay attention. Don't be distracted. Because the devil, he will come to distract you, amen? amen? The Lord is saying, listen. He said, listen. So that you will live. Somebody say, I want to live. I want to be free. Just let me live. Just let me be. Give me a chance. Amen. He said, I will make a permanent covenant with you on the basis of the faithful kindness of David. Somebody say, thank God for David. Now somebody say, thank God for Jesus. Because Jesus came through the bloodline of David. Amen. A witness to the people, a leader, and commander for the people. So you will summon a nation you do not know. And a nation who do not know you will run to you. For the Lord your God, even the Holy One of Israel, has glorified you. Somebody say thank God for Jesus. For well, his grace and mercy is good, amen. The word of God says, seek the Lord while he may be found. Somebody say you better call on him while he's able to be found. Let the wicked abandon. He said, let the wicked one abandon his way and the sinful one his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord so he may have compassion on him. And to our God, he will freely forgive. Amen? Amen. To our God, for he will freely forgive. Amen? Amen. Did y'all hear what he said? Free. Somebody says free. free. It's free. free. You ain't got to stack your paper up. You ain't got to get your money right. You ain't got to buy. He said, I got something for you, and it's free. Somebody say, I want it. Give it to me, Lord. I'll take it. I don't know about y'all, but I'll take it. I'm taking mine. I'm getting this free stuff that the Lord is giving out. Amen? Listen, y'all. The word of God says, come everyone who is thirsty. You got to be thirsty. Somebody say, I thirsty, Lord. Whenever you get thirsty, what the first thing you going to do? You're going to get something to drink. Amen? But the Lord is telling us we got to get thirsty for him. How many of y'all in here are thirsty for Jesus? The same way when you get thirsty and you want something to drink and you get hungry, you'll call somebody to get right out the way across town to get that right. You're going to quit that thirst, amen? But you got to be thirsty for Jesus the same way. Amen? We got to be willing to run after Jesus, amen? Because he will fulfill our thirst. But don't be thirsty for him, Amen? But see, the Lord is giving us a, a, a subject. I almost like to forgot about it, y'all. The Lord is giving us a subject. Everybody look at your neighbor, tell your neighbor to change your appetite. Change your appetite. Look at the other neighbor and say, change your appetite. appetite. Uh oh. Ain't nobody want to change their appetite, is it? We want to change the way we live in, ain't we? We want to change what we eat, do we? We want to change what we drink, it. Now, we definitely want to change what we smoking, ain't we? Amen. He said, let God feed you. Tell somebody, let God feed you. How many of y'all let God feed y'all? Come on, somebody. If I say I got a hundred dollars of crab legs, everybody like, I got five on it. We ready to get them crab legs, amen. 
But how many of us is letting God feed us? Amen. The word of God is telling us that we gotta be thirsty. He said, Come, everyone who is thirsty, come to the water, and you without silver, come and buy and eat. Come buy wine and milk without silver, without a cause. The Lord said it's free, y'all. Tashi, he said, You ain't gotta pay for it. He said, I got you, it's free. Only thing you gotta do is come. Somebody say come. No. Only thing you gotta do, T.T., is come. Sure. The Lord is trying to give it away. Yes. I told you one time, you ain't gotta stack your bread up. All you gotta do is come, it's free. But the Lord said, in order for you to get this free gift, you gotta do what? You gotta change what? Yeah. You gotta change your appetite. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. When you're seeking out the righteous God, we're trying to live for God. Everything about us got to change. We can't stay the same. We can't stay the same. We can't hold on that little bit we ain't want to let, let go and still call ourselves men and women and children of God. Amen. We serve a holy God. That man, he came down from heaven to earth to lay his life down so we can be transformed and renewed by the power of the Holy Spirit. But how can we come to that water and get baptized? Amen. How can the Lord change our life if we're not willing to change our appetite? Amen. We'll come to church a little while, sit up with the pastor, take in a little bit. We ain't going to take in the whole thing, amen. When we leave out, we'll get, get us a cigarette, go to the store, get us a beer. Amen. amen. But the Lord said you got to change your appetite completely. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. The word of God says, in verse 2, it says, why do you spend sip on what is not food? Why are we spending our money on stuff that's, that's not even food? Yeah. What is this food that the Lord is talking about? He's talking about spiritual food, amen? He's talking about spiritual food. He's trying to give us his Holy Spirit, amen? I mean, like I just said, we'll go to the store and we'll chip in and get and spend all our money on the nicest meals, amen? Yeah. Amen? But won't even take $20 to go buy a bottle. Uh-oh. I'm going to say what somebody told me now. Won't even take $20 to go buy a bottle. We'll go to the mall and get Gucci, Louis Vuitton. Come on, Da Vinci, whatever the names is, y'all. We'll spend everything we got, spend all our time. Hey, Amen, spend all our time, everything we got, and stuff that really don't matter. Really not satisfying. And wonder why we're still hungry, wonder why we're still thirsty. But the Lord is trying to give us something to quench that thirst, amen? But you gotta be willing to do what? Change your appetite. In order to change your appetite, you gotta let who feed you? You gotta let who feed you? Let God feed you, baby. You got to let God feed you, amen? He says, listen, listen carefully to me and eat what is good. Y'all, we got to learn how to eat what is good. Amen? amen. The reason why we don't want to eat what is good is because we got the wrong appetites. We enjoy the wrong fruits. Who table we sitting at? Is we sitting at the Lord's table, the Lord feeding us, or we sitting at Satan's table, the devil feeding us? Feeding us liquor, beer. Come on, that'll help you out. That'll ease your pain. That ain't gonna ease your pain. That ain't gonna help us out, y'all. Trust me, I know. Because I used to do the same thing. I used to do the same thing. I used to get high, drunk, smoke marijuana, sniff powder cocaine. Hot out of my mind. Looking like a mess. Acting like I'm happy. I had a wrong appetite. But when I tasted the Lord, oh, I saw that He was good. When I tasted Jesus, He changed my appetite. Because I began to let God. Feed me. Amen. He gave me a new way of thinking. A new way of learning. A new way of walking. Amen. He even changed the people I hung around. Amen. All that stuff I was doing was trash. Somebody say that's trash. That's what it is. It's trash. It's trash. Don't let the devil fool you. You can go get a pack. You can blow up. You can go out in the street and sell all the dope you want to. That's trash. You're looking at somebody with a soul drug. And went to jail many a time. I done got shot, robbed, stabbed, I done hurt some people too. But God gave me a new appetite. He gave me a new appetite. Amen. And he changed my life. And like I said, if Ali could tell us anything, Ali would tell us to get right. He would tell us to get right, y'all. Don't take it lightly. Y'all hear what this word is saying? Jesus said you got to change your appetite. He said, come to the water. He said, without money, it's free. It's free. But will you let God, will you let God change your appetite? Will you let God feed you? Amen? He said, 
He said, and I will make a permanent covenant with you. The Lord is going to make a permanent covenant with us, amen. Y'all know the Lord keep his word, amen. He said, on the basis of the faithful kindness of David. Remember I told y'all to say thank God for David, amen. The Lord always have a, a mighty man or a mighty woman of God in position. That's living for him. That can stand strong, can be an inspiration for somebody else, amen. amen. We need each other. If you look around, you ain't got nobody to look at to encourage you. What you got? Amen. Somebody got to stand strong, amen. Somebody got to be willing to change their appetite, amen. You got to be willing to change your appetite. He says, so you will summon a nation you do not know. That's how good God is. And a nation who do not know you will run to you. Man, that's talking about God. Jesus calling people that he's not even his people, amen. We was like that at one time, amen. Some of us may be still like that. Some of us ain't living for God. But that's the grace of God. That's his mercy. His mercy is saying, I know you're not living for me right now. I see what you're doing. But still, my grace and my, my mercy is sufficient and available for you. No matter what you're smoking, no matter what you're drinking right now. All you got to do is come. We ain't got to wait and try to get yourself together. That's God. That's God's job. He's the Savior. I don't know why people say, I ain't ready, I ain't ready yet. I'm a, I ain't want to play with the Lord yet. I'm going to wait, I'm going to wait a little while. I got to get myself together. Why you got to get yourself together? That's Jesus' job. He's the Savior. All you got to do is come as you are. He'll save you. He'll change your life. Amen? I'm a witness, y'all. He's saving people that is not even his own. All because they came and they let God change their appetite. They begin to let God feed them. Amen? Amen? The word of God says, seek the Lord while he may be found. Y'all got to seek the Lord while he's able to be found. Amen? Amen? Seek the Lord with your life. Amen? Right now. Why it's time? Why you got time? Look how many people we know just died the other day. People dying, y'all. Left and right. What you going to do with the time that you got left right now? We going to look at this room and I'm like, oh, I ain't going to be next. You never know. Amen. We never know who's going to be. I might be next. On, but guess what? If I go, guess what? I'm going out praising the Lord. Amen. Diane, I'm going out screaming hallelujah. Amen. I'm going out seeking the Lord. You know why? Because I want my man. Right. Don't you want your man? Yes, That's right. Jesus. The Lord will have prepared a place for everybody in here. Yes. But are we willing to let God change our appetite? Uh -huh. It's free. All you got to do is go down to the water. Say, I accept you, Lord. I believe in you. Baptize me. Baptize me in the name of Jesus Christ. Give me that free gift of the Holy Spirit. I receive it. You got to want to change your life. We should want to change. We got babies coming up after us, y'all. We need to be an inspiration for these kids. What about the kids, y'all? If we drinking and smoking in front of them, what you think they gonna do when they grow up? If we cursing in front of them, what we think they gonna do when they grow up, y'all? They gonna have the same appetite that you got. But then you wanna beat them when they cut you out in front of somebody else. Ah, you beat yourself. Cause you told them that. Amen. I'm almost done, y'all. The Lord said, he said, let the wicked one abandon his way. Y'all. Yes. All of us, listen, we all want living right, y'all. Some of us, like I said, some of us still ain't living right. But God said you got to abandon the ways of the wicked one. Amen? Amen. That means you got to turn. Turn away from sin. Yeah. Stop taking it lightly. Don't be prideful. Don't think that you, you better than anyone. Don't think that you got too much money. Don't think because you got a nice house or a nicer car. Don't have that high state of mind. Humble yourself. Amen. Humble yourself and come to know that everybody needs a savior, y'all. We all need to be saved. Like I said, it ain't no, it ain't no telling when your time is coming, amen? amen. The Lord said you got to abandon the wicked ways. You got to abandon your wicked ways. You got to turn them on. You got to stop smoking. You got to leave little books here alone. You got to leave, you got to leave Tupac alone. You got, you got to leave Lil Thug alone. Nicki Minaj, Cardi B, you got to leave them alone. You got to change your appetite. Put on some toxic cars. This is the Decatur car. I'm 
trying to tell y'all, I didn't know how much of a trash all that stuff was that I was doing until God showed me the new way. Man, I be having my, I be having so much fun now living for Jesus, y'all. That's why when y'all see me on Facebook, I want y'all to see me. I want you to see me. I want y'all to see how good God is. He's good. I'm jumping around because I'm happy. I couldn't jump around like that in the streets. I was sad. Every time you saw me, I was mean, buddy, mad, disappointed in my life. But God gave me something to be happy about. And he wanted to give each and every one of us something to be happy about. But will we allow God to change our appetite? He said it's free, amen. amen. He says, and he says, let me read this right. He says, let the wicked one abandon his way. And the sinful, the sinful one, his thoughts. So even the sinful thoughts that we have, we got to stop having them too, y'all. We got to stop thinking negative about people, amen. amen. Because the, the sins, our sins start in our mind. Before we even act it out, we start. You think about it first, right? You know, I should go over there and whoop him right now. I should go over there and whoop him right now. I don't like him. I don't like him. I want to do this. I want to do this. It's all in the mind. But we got to have the we got to have the mind of Christ. But how can you have the mind of Christ if you ain't got the Holy Spirit? If you ain't got the Holy Spirit, you ain't gonna have the mind of Christ. So therefore, you need that free gift that Jesus is trying to give you. When He gives you that free gift, when you receive it, guess what's gonna change? Your appetite gonna change. You know why? Because you begin to let God be. The Holy Spirit gonna change you. The Holy Spirit gonna do what the Holy Spirit do. Amen. Let me end, y'all. He said, He said, so he may have compassion on him. And to God to our God, for he will freely forgive. So God will forgive us for anything we done wrong, y'all. If you did any, I'm talking about all the way from your childhood up to now. Whatever you did wrong, if you would take this opportunity right now. At this moment, to say, Lord, I have been living wrong. But I'm the one that needs you to change my appetite because I don't want to go to hell. I don't want my babies to go to hell. I want that mansion that you have promised. I want that crown that you have promised us. I want that new life. I want that new taste. I'm tired of drinking. I'm tired of smoking. That ain't satisfied me. All the sins that we have ever committed up to now, if there's anybody in here, that want the Lord to change your appetite right now. I'm making an altar call, y'all. I know we're here at the home going service. But if Ali can tell me something, he'll tell me to go get a soul, amen? I told y'all I believe he's telling us to get right. But when one person in here step out right now and realize that it's them, that it's you, amen? Will there be one person in here that won't allow the Lord to change your appetite? Will there be one? If there's anybody in here that want to give their life to God right now, all you gotta do is come forth right now. I'm gonna say the salvation prayer with you. All you gotta do is confess it with your mouth and believe it in your heart. And let Jesus change your appetite right here in the funeral. That'll be doing it big for Ali. That'll be really doing it big for Ali. Would that be one person that is willing to say, Holy God. Somebody got to lead the way. Somebody got to lead the way. If Ali could, if Ali could tell y'all one thing right now that he won't from y'all right now, he would tell y'all that he wants y'all to get y'all life with God, get your life right with God. Cause he's on the other side, y'all. He's seeing what we can't see. Amen. So I'm gonna lead y'all in salvation. Who all I have right here? Say, you going to Diane? You gonna get your mansion too? That's right. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Amen. Amen. So we just gonna all join hands. Yes. Yes. Everybody. Everybody. This is what it's all about, y'all. This, this is what I came for. Everybody that came now, all y'all agreeing to give y'all life to God, right? That's what we're doing right here, right? This is not a game, man. man. It's time. Come on, man. This right here making Ali happy right here. Yes. I believe that. Because now, his, his passing away is not in pain. Yeah, right. 
It was to change my mama, my sister, my brother's life. That's the one it be right there, y'all. That's the one it be. I want everybody to open your hearts. I'm going to lead y'all in the salvation prayer. So y'all just say the same thing I'm saying as I said, okay? Heavenly Father, I call on you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ to ask for forgiveness for my sins. Forgive me, Lord, for I'm a sinner. I believe that Jesus Christ laid down his life on the cross for my sins. And I believe that God has raised him from the dead. And he lives with all power and all authority. I accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. Come into my life. Come into my heart. And save me, God. I believe. I receive the gift of your precious Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. I am saved.
Maybe call the mortician. I want you to point your hand this way. This man gave out so much today. Dear Father, I pray for the restoration of this dream. I ask you, Lord, to restore the virtue. Lord God, keep him sharp as he is. Keep him always hearing your voice. And let him be himself as he will down the enemy with the sword of the spirit. We give you honor and praise for this vessel in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. More to see you can come. Hallelujah.